What's going on guys? Hope everybody's having a great day. Today, we're going to be looking at the kit for the new legendary champion coming into the game. As you guys already know, that is Xena, Warrior Princess. She's coming in the champion pass. This is a collab with Universal, I believe. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Hopefully we do get more collabs like that in the future. Seeing some characters that we know already come into the game and, you know, having them have a good kit is even better as well. So, Hopefully more of that and hopefully this champion will be worth it. Now, full disclosure, the pass is not free. You will have to spend money to get Xena. Sadly, I wish this could be free for all players, but it is not. But let's take a look at the kit and uh, see how she stacks up to what we already are working with. So on the A1, attacks one enemy two times will ignore 3% of the target's defense for each buff on the target. We'll also ignore shield buffs if the target is under two or more buffs or debuffs so i feel like this is a pretty strong a1 skill especially for arena if you're going against you know teams with necrit teams with bolster she's definitely going to be able to help you out with her a1 now her a2 is an aoe skill will ignore five percent of the target's defense for each buff on the target steals 20 percent of the turn meter from each enemy this effect can't be resisted if the target is under two or more buffs or debuffs. I wonder if like one and one together. No, it, ha it probably has to be two buffs or two debuffs. So solid skill for sure. Another opportunity to ignore some defense, which is always helpful for damage dealers. Still 20% of the turn meter as well. And it can't be resisted if they're under buffs or debuffs, which they more than likely will be in arena. Now, on the A3, attacks all enemies again, so she has two AoE skills, definitely a strong champ already. We'll ignore 10% of the target's debuff for each buff on the target and recess the cooldown of the skill if it kills two or more enemies. So she'll reset it, ignore some defense for sure. If they have buffs up, I think it's a solid skill, and that is on a four-turn cooldown book. The A2 is on a three-turn cooldown book. So a decent champion, I would say. Let's take a look at her passive ability. So her passive increases her attack by 10% every time that she uses an active skill and it stacks up to 100%. Also has a 50% chance of randomly changing this champion's weak hits into normal, strong, or critical hits. Wow. The chance increases to 100% when attacking enemies under two or more buffs or debuffs. Wow, interesting. So. Pretty much, if they're under buffs, like in arena, she's pretty much going to always be able to land a, you know, strong, normal, or critical hit. That's that's pretty OP. So no weak hit. She is force affinity, but pretty much if it's a tanky team, if they have, you know, some buffs up, she's not going to be able to weak hit, which is a very strong passive to have. The active effect fills this champion's turn meter by 100% and places a 50% increased attack buff on this champion for one turn whenever eight or more buffs are placed on the enemy team in a single turn. So basically, if you don't go first, if they outspeed you, so say a uh, Siffy goes, she's going to gain 100% turn meter and place increased attack. You could use her A2 to steal some turn meter. I think that this champion could be tremendously strong against Siffy teams, against Duchess teams, right? Any teams that are coming in with bolster, stone skin. I wonder if this counts for when you come in at the start of the round, well, the match rather in arena temp chains was bugged like that at first so i wonder you know how this skill how this active effect is going to actually work which could make this champion potentially really broken but if you do in fact get outsped by a siffy in arena you're going to pretty much be good as long as you know xena's multipliers are great right so that is the big question right that we all have every time a new champion comes into the game what are the multipliers what are the multipliers is this a viable DPS champion? Is this champion going to be better than the DPS champions that I'm already using? That is likely going to be the make or break for a lot of people. I know a lot of people are going to just want the champion just because, you know, sentimental value is someone that they recognize. A lot of people are collectors. They're going to want a collector. And that's very understandable. I want to have this champion myself. I think that this kit is very, very good for Arena. Now, as far as anywhere else that you could use her, 
You could definitely use her in PvE content if you're struggling with damage in certain places. Two AoEs, so you do get, you know, some wave clearing ability, but we have to see, you know, what the, the multipliers look like. We haven't gotten too many champions with, you know, amazing multipliers this year. Maybe Wukong has pretty good multipliers. Nut has pretty good multipliers. Rhonda was, you know, in the last year this year has pretty good multipliers. But overall, out of all of the DPS champions we got this year, we haven't had, you know, too many real standouts. Kid is pretty good. Kid is definitely good. You guys let me know what you think about the kit for sure. And if you are 100% going for the, you know, upgraded champion pass. Now, there are going to be other opportunities to get this champion via summoning events. So they are going to have three opportunities for you to summon her from shards. Monday, November 13th is going to be the first opportunity. November 20th is going to be the second opportunity. And then November 30th is going to be the last and final opportunity to summon her from shards. That's the only way that you're going to be able to summon her. But otherwise, if you're looking to get this champion, you're going to have to get the, you know, elite pass so that you can get that free copy. I really want to know what you guys think about the champion. So let me know your thoughts down below. But thank you guys for watching as always. And until next time, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be good and be well.